Listening to the Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. Thanks to Concordia University, Wisconsin, for supporting the Coffee Hour. Find out more about Concordia University, Wisconsin at cuw.edu. Live uncommon. <laughs> Today's episode is about classical Lutheran education. The CCLE Consortium for Classical Lutheran Education had a wonderful conference this summer taking place in Fort Wayne. We were not able to go mm-hmm. because we were on our way to the LCMS Youth Gathering yes. in Houston. But Pastor Doug Gribbenau did go to CCLE. And I hear it was a fantastic conference. So Pastor Doug's going to take over the coffee hour for today and share some wonderful stories with you with our friends from the Consortium for Classical Lutheran Education. Hi, this is Reverend Doug Gribbenau here at the Consortium for Classical Lutheran Education conference in Fort Wayne, Indiana this summer. It's being hosted at Redeemer Lutheran Church and School. And with me today is Jocelyn Benson, who is actively involved in classical education and especially in the homeschool setting. So Jocelyn, welcome and thank you for joining me today. Well, thank you so much for having me. It's a a joy and pleasure. And why don't you introduce yourself briefly to our listeners, some of your background and and what has attracted you to this classical education? Absolutely. Well, I have the privilege of serving as the head teacher of Wittenberg Academy, which is an online Lutheran school. And in that capacity, we have the pleasure of serving families, whether their children are being educated at home or at Lutheran schools. We even have a few scholars who are are educated at schools outside the church. But kind of the the biggest thing, and, and this kind of comes around to your initial question about, you know, how did I get involved in this? The thing that I, that, that motivates me has always motivated me. I just finished my 20th year of teaching. Oh, wow. Uh, so it's kind of one of those things, you know, as, as you think about, you think back on all of the experiences that you've had in that. I went to the University of Northern Iowa, received my undergrad and my master's degree there. I taught in public school. And then while I was working on my PhD at the University of Iowa, family was priority. I, I was pregnant with our third child and just wanted to, to get my vocation house in order. And so serving as, as wife and mom was priority. So I didn't finish my PhD. But in that, again, looking back, realized that as parents, we really need to think about what is our end goal for our children? Amen. Right? And so in thinking about that, Lutherans, we think differently about our end goal. Our end goal isn't you know, the fancy car and the big house and the six figure job. Our end goal is heaven. Yes. Jerusalem, our happy home. It is. It is. Absolutely. And so as we think about that as parents, as the primary educator of our children, right? Mm -hmm. By virtue, I always tell parents by virtue of being a parent, you are your child's teacher. And so Sometimes parents choose to bring in support for that, the education of their children. But in that, as we provide support, whether it's Wittenberg Academy or one, one of the wonderful Lutheran schools that are associated with the Consortium for Classical Lutheran Education, we think about the fact that eternity, that heaven is our goal. And, and so regardless of what we are teaching, whether it is math or science or history or theology, it is that is our end goal. And so our goal for our children is we want to teach them, regardless of whether it is us or someone we have engaged to aid us in the education of our children, we want to make sure that they have a right view of God, a right view of themselves, a right view of their neighbor and a right view of the world. And so in all of these things, from where does that derive? A right view comes only from God's word. His, his revealed word, that's right. Exactly. And the so, objective reality that exactly, we live in. Exactly, exactly. And so in thinking about that, I think one of the things that is the, the, one of the greatest privileges that I have serving Wittenberg Academy and, and serving schools 
is helping parents to think about these things that in large part, we were never taught. We were never taught to think about things in the perspective of eternity. We, you know, we, we were thought, we were taught to, to think about things in very temporal terms rather than eternal terms. And our children are eternal. And so when we think about educating them, we have to have that as our, as our, as our focus point. Amen. Amen. You know, when we think of classical education and especially classical Lutheran education, I think for the most part, we think of a brick and mortar schoolhouse and, and probably uniforms and all those things that go along with it. Right. So how does classical education, classical Lutheran education, how does that engage in a homeschool setting? Absolutely. Well, in terms of education, education is life, right? And so whether that education is happening within the bricks and mortar of a school or the bricks and mortar of a home, right? The focus and the, the content, all of these things, you know, we, we catechize our children, we sing hymns, we memorize the catechism, you know, so, so that regardless of where that is happening, that's Lutheran education, Amen. right? And so I think that when we think about Lutheran education, we need to think about it in terms of a larger picture than, than buildings and boilers and all of these sorts of things because of what we were just discussing, right? That the parents are primarily the, the teacher of, of their children. So whether they are, are having their children taught in, in a school or at home, this is Lutheran education. And so how does this happen? You know, many times parents engage with, with certain curricula, but, but outside of that, a classical education, a Lutheran education is teaching for life. And so we're preparing our children, we're giving them enduring things, right? So when we think classical, we think enduring. A lot of times people think old things, you know, Plato, Aristotle, all of these sorts of things. But we're looking at primarily where where are we seeing, as we were talking about before, where are we seeing a right view of the world? You know, natural law, gave the ancient philosophers, for, an, for example, gave the ancient philosophers a right view of some things, right? They didn't have the gospel, and so they were only able to take that so far, but we can still learn from them. And so giving our children enduring things that have stood the test of time, giving them rich literature and, and rich vocabulary, teaching them how to write in cursive, you know, all of these things that, 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 afford them a beautiful education, right? Because, because God is a God of order and a God of beauty and, and, and he has given us, right? We, we teach our children that God has given us our reason and all our senses and still takes care of them. And guess how he takes care of them? By Through giving, his means. Yes. And that's mom and dad. Exactly. And that's pastor. That's church. Exactly. That's educators. Exactly. Amen. Right. Exactly. And so, in, in a Lutheran education, you don't see discrepancy between what pastor is preaching and what mom and dad are teaching or what your, your teachers at school are teaching because it all... It's built hold, on the solid rock. Yes, it all, all holds together in Christ, right? Whether it's science or math or history, all of these things are taught with an eternal perspective in mind realizing that we are here primarily to receive God's gifts, right? As they manifest themselves in, in various ways, but also to be of service to our neighbor, right? And so we equip our children to, we sometimes use language like to stay alive, to be of earthly good to their neighbor, but also to live in heaven, right? So we never separate those two things in terms of, well, okay, so this is the heavenly stuff and this is the earthly stuff, right? As we just said, all things hold together in Christ. And so we don't take little pieces apart. As if they were disassociated, exactly. unrelated things, exactly. that this is all unified. Exactly, exactly. And, and God teaches us that, right? I mean, we look at his world and we see the reality of these things, right? We see how all things, you know, you, you, 
you change one thing and it impacts one thing over here. And somehow we, we say, okay, well, that's good for the, the world. That's good for God's creation. But it doesn't really matter if we mess with things with education, you know, in the teaching of the children, it's, it's going to be okay. They'll be fine. Kids are resilient, right? Well, we have to think about this in terms of when we, we can't just give them over to the pagans and say, well, I think they're going to be okay. I think, I think they'll turn out Christians. Well, that doesn't make sense. If you mess with this over here, it's going to impact this over here because it's all related. Amen. Amen. So what one word of encouragement might you to a family that is, that is looking at homeschooling is maybe feeling a bit overwhelmed. What word of encouragement would you have for them? Absolutely. Well, the bottom line is you can do it. God has given you, he has equipped you by virtue of being your child's parents. He has equipped you. And so, so don't look at it as, well, I'm going to mess up my kids. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and honestly, right, if you're going to mess up your kids, you want to be the one who does it. Because <laughs> you'll mess up in a better way, right? Right, right, yeah. right. right. <laughs> uh, no, in all seriousness, thinking about this, you can do it. And the, the standards of the world, they can be an encouragement, but also realize that we have a different perspective than the world might have. And so we don't need to judge ourselves against the standard of the world. That's not the standard that we're going for. That's not the metric that God uses. Correct. Exactly. Exactly. And so we do want to equip our children well. We want to pursue excellence in all things, but we don't need to get lost in the weeds. Sometimes we look at educating our children and we think, well, I'm not a professional. I can't do that. You're a parent. So you are. And you do right? You get up in the morning and you pray with your children. You feed them. You are a family. By virtue of living life together, you are teaching your children. So don't worry about being behind. Don't worry about messing up your kids. Seek out good support, whether that's your pastor or fellow Lutherans who are on this journey with you. There are a lot of really fantastic resources. The Consortium for Classical Lutheran Education is a great resource. Berg Academy can be a very helpful resource in that regard. As we are wont to say, do it. Just begin. And you will stumble and you will fall you will get back up again. And that's one of the most beautiful things I would say about teaching your children at home is that you really, it's, it's very sanctifying in terms of <laughs> as, as we live together, we, we learn how to, you know, if, if, if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, right? And so in living with our children, we learn to, to say, I'm sorry, and they, they learn to forgive, you know, and so just living the, the Christian life, I think, is, is so important because the, the world is not, the world is not for us. We are strangers and aliens in this world. And so we need to think differently about the way that we teach our children. Amen. That. Amen. So uh, tell us a little bit about Wittenberg Academy, what your work is where with them, and how folks that might be interested can get more information. Sure, absolutely. Thank you. So Wittenberg Academy is an online Lutheran school. Our faculty teach 6th through 12th grade. We are accredited, and so families, their children can graduate from Wittenberg Academy. We, it's, it's a joy to serve families all over the world to, to provide Lutheran teachers, Lutheran doctrine in all things as we were talking before, you know, the, the, our doctrine is isolated to theology, right? You know, what we believe, teach, and confess is in all things. And so teaching children to view the world themselves, their, their God, rightly. So we serve families 6th through 12th grade. We also have a grammar school curriculum that is available for free. Families can sign up for that and, and utilize that as a, as a help and support if they are thinking about getting into uh, the homeschool life. And uh, so just a, a wealth of, of resources. You can go to our website, www.wittenbergacademy.org, and to check out more of what we have to offer. That's wonderful. Jocelyn, thank you so much. Joy to be here. Brothers and sisters, that was Jocelyn Benson. 
sitting down with Reverend Gribbenaw here at the Conference for the Consortium of Classical Lutheran Education in Fort Wayne, Indiana. You're listening to The Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. Oh, 